Let's talk vortexing spark gap. Right here what I have, and hello everybody. Right here I have um, these little cones, copper cones. Hollow inside, they narrow down. And what we have here, uh, we're gonna put this on our spark gap. And if you guys, anybody ever tear apart a microwave, um, you'll see that there's a transformer, a good diode, and then also a part you don't touch is the microwave resonant chamber itself. And I always wanted to investigate into that, but I kind of stayed away from the microwaves. And once I started building chambers for ground, then I realized it's everything. Ground is everything. But it needs to be chamberized. So right now we're going to take these and we're going to come over here to my spark gap. We're not using the bottom, the bottom of the gap. We're going to use just the wires. And you know if you just have the wires, it'll be okay, but not really that great. I'm going to put these cones on the very end. And show and fire it up and show you guys. So basically, you see, I have a, every bit of a good mm, inch and a quarter, maybe gap. That's pretty far. Shooting 15,000 volts, 60 milliamps. Now I won't have to put air on this because these are two chambers, and what happens there here is this chamber will fire up send out electromagnetic wave across the gap this gap will receive it respond it respond to it and then it'll send it back through the wire but we'll show off the gap we'll show off whatever it does here and this is just the start because i have something like that built that goes to the ground and don't get me wrong guys this is just hardcore Tesla isk um, experimenting okay when I go into my house and expect to do any wireless in my house it's not based on this equipment but it's based on using today's technology with equipment like this to where I can minimize all the pieces to have small apparatuses to put a wireless system in a house that's a power generating wireless system that would have a battery backup so if your power ever does go down in your house you could um, obviously still have lights and wireless um, Wi-Fi and some things that you could run off of there <clears throat> let's go ahead and fire this up I'm going to turn these lights out and we'll get into oh I got my frequency meter here I guess we can check I know I'm in the AM band because that's the coil I wound here it should be in a, just a little bit above AM. So it'd be in the 17, 1800 kilohertz range. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and fire this guy up. We'll check out the gap. And um, leave your comments.
what I'm talking about, nadrozone. So, let me get some lights on here. Let's talk about this. So basically, um, you can't get that to happen like that without uh, using air. You gotta quench your gas, usually, okay? And that's pretty much the logist of your spark gas. But here, because I put look, these little tubular chambers in front of it, you can see that the gap is highly, highly responsive. And it is showing up on the top load and everything that's going along with it. Um, I didn't get a chance to, I had the lights off. Let's go ahead and grab the freak meter. What did I do with that freak meter? Did I put it down somewhere? Hmm. Well, I think I took it somewhere over there. There's so much going on, it's hard to um, keep track of myself. Really? All right, well, freak meter's gone. But um, last time I checked, it was around 1,800, 1,900 kilohertz. So that's a little bit above the AM band. And um, I'm definitely uh, lighting up stuff inside my household. And um, I'm definitely tuning in and learning more stuff about it, especially with when you take a gap and say if you had a small little tube, little vacuum tube, um, you could have that vacuum tube not too much minus pressure, but a little minus pressure. Or you can have it a plus pressure, which would allow it to be a little bit more responsive than this. There, there's so much experimenting that needs to be done that um, I'm still learning. Guys, leave your comments. Hopefully you appreciate that. I'm going to call that uh, resonant, resonance in the gap because of the the field that's going across in a round tubular way and the fact that you can resonate the ground um, is phenomenal and this is just so barbaric beautiful but barbaric and um, right now I'm working on